Hello all and welcome back to another Ponytown community subreddit video. Today, of course, we're going to be looking at some of your builds that you have shared here on this subreddit for Ponytown. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start this builder highlights video, starting with this one right here. Uh, this one is by this user here, Tonal Architect, I think is how you might have to say that. I don't know. I really like it because it kind of looks like the back rooms and uh, the title of it is, oops, I spilled my portal on the floor. And if you take a look at it, it really does look a little bit like some kind of strange portal or something like that it almost even looks like you're looking into like something and like this is an aerial view of like wherever you're looking into because like the trees seem kind of small and like you could argue that like all these like cucumbers are probably trees or something and like these little weights are probably a building or a structure of some kind and and all kinds of things like that it kind of it kind of looks like you're almost looking down at the earth almost or like looking down at some kind of foresty area or something through this portal and the portal by itself just looks amazing and beautiful and honestly all the tiny little details and, and just the the, the the things that this gets my mind doing uh, it just has my mind doing all kinds of things and i love it plus it looks like it's in the back rooms the way that they lit this Everything about it is just really lovely. I absolutely love it. And that's why I've given it a thumbs up. But we have to look at some other things too. We can't just talk about this strange portal. We also have to talk about this huge castle that this person made. They made themselves a huge castle here. So let's go ahead and, and uh, open this image in a new tab so we can get a better look at it. Uh, it is a quite lovely little thing here. It's not the greatest thing ever, but it's also very lovely. Uh, they have a nice little kitchen area here. Um, these flowers and everything like that like a centerpiece of course the master bedroom for like the king and queen or whatever like that and it's all colored pretty well um they have some, a nice color palette going on here i would love more trees like up here in the corners like up here and over here or something like that but you know maybe they don't have enough objects for that or something who knows um maybe a water rock or two could go well in, in some of these like little ponds and things like that honestly though Everything about this, it's very basic, but it's also very good. I really love what they did with it. And it's not just this one image. They also shared another image here of like a smaller offshoot or something like that. I guess it's supposed to be a wizard tower build because they're thing x peaches said that it's a new huge castle plus a wizard tower build i think it looks lovely um this honestly i love much more than the other thing uh it's got a nice color palette again like the other thing uh the vines coming up through the like the window that looks pretty cool some of the bookshelves and stuff like that being overgrown by by like these uh, vines and stuff like that looks really cool of course you get the blood jar there everything about this is lovely they got another thing here it's showing the whole thing all at once again very lovely i would love more trees like in the background and maybe some water rocks or something in the water maybe even like a full-on lake or stream or something somewhere but overall this is very well done very well done there x speeches good job uh, another one that i would say has been done very well is this one here by rat xdddd they said done the build it's not fully finished but i've placed all the items i can place lol uh so if we take a closer look at this uh, he, uh, here's a, a blowed up image of this it looks very lovely it's supposed to be some kind of apocalypse type thing uh because they made a different community post uh before this one talking about a work in progress for an apocalypse build and it was it was this i think this looks really good this definitely has a very apocalyptic type vibe to it um it looks like you know a rundown uh park area or something like that it looks like a, a rundown dock up here in the corner uh there's some bones here and there um all the grass is like dying um something that i would probably consider doing is actually setting the season to fall so that the grass looks more dead but honestly this looks fine if you did do like the whole dead grass thing you would have to go through here manually and like make these like small trees and these like vines and stuff like that a different color but you know i think it would look cool probably i don't know it's definitely something i would experiment with to find out um i find stuff like this like these random notes everywhere a little bit strange i'm not sure what that's for maybe that has something to do with like the role play thing that they're gonna do for this on this island or something like that but overall very well done there's a few things that are strange like the torch on top of the leaves and and stuff like that that like some some stuff looks too spammed and it created this situation where like things are like stacking on top of each other in, in weird ways and stuff but overall very well done very well made uh and it's not over yet because they also shared this in the same post this seems to be some kind of building somewhere on the island not sure where because they didn't show the entire island in one screenshot but this is very clearly not the party house because uh there's a number of things that tell us this for one there's not like the weird black void down here also it's very wide way bigger than like it actually would be if it was a party house and things like that but it looks very good i enjoy it um and and again it has that apocalyptic vibe it looks like it's like the roof is caved in in a couple of spots and you know 
that's what all these piles of dirt and stuff like that are. Um, I think it looks good. Very well made, very well done. Please fix this so that it's more aligned and uh, good job there. But let's move on to this next one because this little person, this person here, T Terror 98 made a little garden paradise. Uh, it is very lovely. They got like a little bridge thing going on. Very, very, very lovely bridge, by the way. I absolutely love it. The only thing that I would probably change again is putting in some water rocks or something, putting in some water rocks here, maybe even putting them around like these posts and stuff like that to kind of hide the fact that it's like not treading water or anything like that, that could be good. I don't know. But overall, looks very good. Well done. Uh, and then we move on to their next thing that they shared in the same community post. We have this lovely thing here. Not 100% sure what the snow is supposed to be doing here. Maybe it's some kind of like cloud or maybe that's supposed to be some kind of mist or a fog or something like that. Some kind of misty fog effect that they're trying to do. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad, but it does have me raising my eyebrows and scratching my head. Like what, what exactly is it supposed to be? What exactly is it supposed to be doing? Especially since it's a garden paradise, it's kind of got that little... Like what, what exactly is going on here? Um, but it does look very lovely. They chose some good flowers and flower combinations. The banners actually don't look that bad. It's honestly really hard to use the banners sometimes. So I like to give props to, to people that use them well when they are used well. Uh, but overall, very good here. Uh, I don't really know what else I could tweak to that. Maybe put some clovers down somewhere. I don't know. And then their last thing here, uh, which is a heart-shaped pond. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. doesn't look too good, but um, it's very basic and it's lovely and the other two definitely carry more uh good goodness to them i guess is how you could say that <laughs> anyway let's move on to the last uh builders highlights thing here this one is by uh ros ros bby underscore i don't know they made a tiny little house uh and they thought it'd be cool to share it's not much they know but it does look very lovely it's a very nice small build i love it when people do these tiny little homes and things like that on their party islands and stuff it always looks really good i love how they did the, the potted plants here they're not too bad they're not positioned terribly they don't they're not using that many objects and just like here let's get it let's get a better look here see so they're not using too many objects um there's not really too much to critique and change with this um i mean i would definitely put maybe more rose bushes down here or maybe like a, a palm tree or something over here maybe like a, a towel or something uh something uh, you know, like a towel plus a parasol or something around the beach or something like that. Um, but overall, looks very lovely. I probably would remove the flowers on the seats because that seems a little bit strange that you would sit on the flowers themselves. But hey, you know, I'm not gonna judge. Maybe you'll want to sit on the flowers. I don't care. But anyway, I always love it when people do these uh, nice small builds and, and work with limited resources and things like that. It always... It always looks good somehow. I don't know how they always do it, but it always ends up looking good. Good job. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. That's that's all we're going to do for this episode of Builder Highlights. I'm going to scroll through here a little bit as I do my outro. So maybe you're still in the video somewhere. Ooh, who knows? But I do hope that you enjoyed this Builder Highlights uh, episode. Uh, if you did, maybe do please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all those wonderful things like that. Because when you do wonderful things like that, you get access to wonderful content such as this. But not just that, you also get to become wonderful for yourself. And I think we all do want that. So do those wonderful things. And until next time, stay wonderful.